think about it for more than a second, it turns out really to be true. You know, really? I mean, artists are one part visionary, one part bureaucrat, businessman. And uh, so uh, I was surprised when some years later we put that into, uh, you know, brought it to fruition in the, uh, in the uh, conception of this actual building, you know, right? Which, like other economists, will have art here and there in it, like everybody. But then the other idea is more powerful. find that amusing and charming or you find it oppressive and exhausting. I'm beginning to find it oppressive and exhausting. I really love the idea of something being immediate, democratic, populist, and in a sense without style, like style free. Uh, because it is like, uh, it is like thinking. It's, it, uh, the kind of video we're talking about is so much a shoot from the hip video, so spontaneous, it's so sort of organic, it's so like it's so like thinking. I said on a tape and a kind of frivolous comment that was like shopping. But what I meant by that was, if, they, if shopping keeps getting positioned as uh, uh, an exercise in the development of personal taste, uh, then that's exactly what these shoot from the hip, spontaneous guerrilla, guerrilla videos, I think, are. They're also exercises in the development of uh, personal taste, in the sense of how do I know who I am or what I think until I see what I video, you know, it's like, it's like that. So I thought that basically this kind of video was coalescing for me working into a great mosaic of uh, uh, who we actually are as a culture, like the, the primary sociological material of our time, it was not highly made films by highly skilled people, but in fact was the stuff that everybody makes as an extension of wandering around and looking at things. People video, making videotapes of what they see is really basically being slightly more present at an experience than if they're not making a videotape of it. It always makes you feel a little more engaged I think when you're when you're filming, or even if you're making still photographs, <coughs> which I still love to make in my old-fashioned way. But if you're doing video clips, um, I think you feel absolutely attached to the experience. And then when everybody's doing it, then everybody feels attached to the experience, and pretty soon you have a kind of alternate discourse. That's what I thought. That's what Gary and I were, you know, thinking about. And that's sort of the, the first fruits of this contest, this video clip contest. Not only were people sort of sending us things, but it was developing into an approach. You know. And what I liked about it, and I think it has something to do with Gary's 